What's up, YouTube? Who that comics and movies coming at you with a little unboxing? Um, not gonna try to be too loud because my daughter's sleeping in the other room, but I wanted to knock this out. Reason being, I wanted to knock this out because two of the top uh grand prizes and a lot of the middle grand prizes have already been taken. So I was like, what's the point of holding and waiting to unbox this against the Spider Man Boost Superior box? Um, because I've seen more terrible reviews for torpedoes mystery box than great yeah i know a couple of people well, i know one person that actually hit the grand prize but besides that a lot of the prizes were taken at the store uh the numbers two uh prize was already picked before they even mailed out anything uh so i'm gonna open it up see what i got um I've been uh, very disappointed in all the other people in boxes. I know a guy who I follow on Instagram. He did a total of all the books he ended up getting and ended up being like $65 total. Um, another thing that sucked, I would say, for them is they charged shipping twice um, when I ordered. Um, and then, but they shipped it in the same box. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, so far, I'm not going to complain too much until I open them up. But uh, the things I've seen more so outweighs the good stuff. Uh, so I'm going to open this up. Like I said, it came in a big box, which I was surprised. But I've seen graphic novels and hardcover uh, graphics. So I'm not expecting anything crazy. Let's see. Uh, they did. They did package it up pretty good. They bubble wrapped them individually. Let um, me have my uh, stuff on the back. So, like I said, I was gonna open this up against the spiraling boot boxes. I was gonna open up with, uh, with a couple other people. Um, end up not doing that because people people <laughs> said I could, they couldn't wait, and also and I'm happy for uh, people, but uh. You know, so like I said, it's kind of defeats the purpose. So it's the seal tab. The boxes are really nice. I give them credit. The boxes are really nice. I probably will reuse the boxes. Uh, I have order. I don't know if I was order 400, but they gave me box 400 because it doesn't say it on here. Uh, but yeah, it'd be pretty cool if when you ordered, you know, which one um, you was getting. Um, so. I'm gonna open it up. Uh, which way? It's open this up like this. So I open it up this way, so you guys can kind of see it first. Um, but I said these boxes are pretty good. Definitely gonna reuse them. Uh, oh yeah, I know Chad got it, man. Uh, uh, I know Chad got it. That's why I was saying too. If so, if y'all missed the beginning, I was saying that the two top prizes have already been picked. The number two prize was picked before this even got shipped out to anybody. So the odds were against all the people who bought them online to get them shipped. Uh, Cause Chad could, I don't know if he knew that, but uh, he should know that. But like number two prize was already taken before they even mailed these out. Um, I know he wanted, uh, but I'm going off of what I've seen of other people. Cause if you've seen Chad's other boxes that he unboxed, they were terrible. They were terrible. I'm happy he won the grand prize or got something because those other boxes were terrible. Look, look at his video. Look at his video. Those boxes were not good. And then another, like I said, another guy I know on Instagram, he did a price point on all of his stuff. $65. $65 that he could have bought all those books for. So we'll see. Hopefully I'm not that bad. Hopefully I get one thing that's worth something. So there you go. You get to see it first. So no big books here. It looks like a whole bunch of crap. <laughs> So yeah, we got a couple of a uh, couple of crap books that are not worth that much. I hate to say it like that. I'm being honest because the only reason I'm being honest uh, is because of what I've seen before in these boxes. So we'll show these. Uh, you got Batman and the Max. Um, we got the Grendel book. That's a nine dollar book on eBay because I know a guy who got them. These are nine ninety nine. Uh, um. And I think these are $9.99 plus shipping. So you got two books that are $10. I'll have to look up the Batman Max book, but I doubt it's a $60 book. Somebody can look that up really quickly for me if they want. 
but I know the other two books are ten dollar books. Um, like I said, I know somebody who opened it on Instagram, and um, they weren't too pleased, and they showed the books they got. So let's see. I'm actually gonna look it up myself. Let's see, because I don't know the Batman and the Max one. Batman. Max. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all this right now. They have this book listed at sixty dollars. They have this book listed at sixty dollars, and look what I'm gonna show you. Which one is this one? Oh, here we got found it. They have this book listed at sixty dollars. To show y'all, this is the same book. That's the book. That's what I got. Let's look at the price. You can see it, eleven ninety nine. They listed it at sixty bucks. Like I told you, I like I'm not expect. That's why I just wanted to get through this and get rid of this crap, because <laughs> that's some harsh shit. I don't care. I'm skewed part of my French, but this is not a channel for kids. Um, you price a book at sixty dollars, and you can find it on eBay right now for eleven ninety nine. He says, sell it now. Sell it now. <laughs> oh, GameStop, if you want it for 12, you want to pay the eight bucks shipping, I'll sell it to you for 12. Uh, we got a couple of graphic novels. Um, I think the only plus is they're both hardcovers. This one I'll be getting rid of as well Camelot 3000. So uh, um, I'll be getting rid of that one, and I'll probably keep this one. Um, these are probably the ones they got when they were like super cheap. Um, so this is actually a good one. Um, but I just wanted to show that off because a lot of people like uh this is, reminds me of the sunshine boxes. Yeah, I would say I would say yeah, they probably are more on the line with the sunshine boxes. Um so turn this on silent. So yeah, so I just wanted to show that like it's not hard to do a price point. <laughs> just Rica said no, yeah. So I already know this one is nine ninety nine on eBay because, like I said, buddy showed it. So we just figured out this one was eleven ninety nine, and this one is probably I think it was ten dollars he showed. So um, so far, I got probably fifty dollars worth of stuff, and the boxes cost a hundred dollars. So um, don't open for you to come. Door open. Oh, door open for you to come. <laughs> sure. I don't think he's talking to me. Yeah, he's not talking to me. <laughs> I know Rod's not talking to me. He's not inviting me. <laughs> Definitely not talking to me. You get better books with Conor. You get better books with that Spider-Man booth. I'll tell you straight up. You get better books with that Spider-Man booth. A lot of people knock them because you you know you might get a couple of variants that were hot like from last month. But when you do the price of those books that you get from them, um, you can at least get your money back. You can at least get your money back. That box, I can't even get my money back. I, I lost like forty bucks on that box. So. Hopefully this last one is good. What's up, Los? So, but yeah, I wanted to get, like I said, I wanted to get rid of get this out of my house, this big ass box, um, because, um, like I said, all the grand prizes. <laughs> he said, "Good luck, uh, Joey Bags of Seven. All the grand prizes have been picked. Majority of them were picked at the store." Um, so <laughs> I'm just hoping to get my money back. And we already found out from the first box, I lost about 40 bucks. Um, and like I said, they just randomly give you stuff. Cause look, this is, I ordered these at the same time. This is number 98, I guess, or 
or 86, 86. This is number 86, and this one was number 400. I mean, the order number should find, fall in line um, since I ordered it the same thing. Um, so I can tell you this one's a lot lighter. So hopefully it's not a trade paperback, like a soft cover, because that one was heavy. So I thought I had a feeling it might have been two hard covers. So, so probably got 14 people in here watching me open this crap. <laughs> Swappers, Swappers could do, he said, give me $100, I'll triple your investment. He ain't lying. Game Swappers does bring some heat. If he did a mystery box, it would sell out instantly because <laughs> you at least you know you're getting your monies back. I give him credit. So at least you know you're getting your money back. So let's, let's, let's open that up. So uh, another box of nothingness. Does it look good? <laughs> but that's what I kind of figured when I saw uh, Chad open up his other boxes. Uh, and it was it was bad. It was bad. Um, so we got Suicide Squad number one, uh, like a metallic one. Look like I got DC books I could sell to people, but no, I can't. I know I don't think. Uh, I don't think I. I don't know. I'd have to look up that uh, that foil. That's an old Rebirth number seven. Um, they say 15 bucks. I doubt it. Um, Transformer books. We already know about Transformers. If it's not the early keys, they're not worth the amount people put on them. They're uh, they definitely uh, this is definitely not a twenty dollar book. Definitely not. Uh, I'd be surprised if you can get ten for them because I got Transformer keys that you probably can't even get ten for. Now I know for a fact because I've had this book many times. The regular cover is about it's under ten bucks. So I've sold this on eBay before. It's under ten bucks. So so far, so I got about thirty dollars. Uh, this last book is signed, but there's no COA. Uh, no COA, so I don't know who signed it. But it says forty dollars. It's a Fantastic Four book. I don't think any of the Fantastic Four books like really kept their value. He said, "He said that title definitely got my attention." I don't even remember what I put on the title. Uh, so, so you got some uh, trades uh, that are definitely not going to be worth anything for me. This is this is Marvel. It is Marvel. Wow. They had Marvel sixteen o two. Um, it says 20 bucks, but you know how these trades, they had a big sale on them. Um, so I would say this is probably about $2 or $3. Um, I know for a fact, cause I bought trades from, uh, um, from a con, which everything's expensive at a con. And I bought a whole slew of them for like two bucks a piece. Um, and the last but not least stuff that. That I'm definitely probably, as I said, some of this I'm definitely going to need to give away. I try to just sell for pennies on a dollar. We got Batman 66. This is volume two, so I couldn't even get volume one um, if I wanted to even actually read it. So, it's a new, great read on 62, not worth 20 bucks. <laughs> great luck. Um, this one says it's worth night 20 bucks as well, but. Uh, like I said, these these trades, you know how they go when they make them so much, they uh they they get on super sale. Like you can get them eighty percent off, seventy five percent off. So that's it of that box. Um, uh, that's it of that box. So like the titles, I don't even remember what I put on the title, but like I said, I just wanted to get this crap over in the description um, because I was gonna open uh, open it up towards that Spider Man booth box. I was gonna do two. Versus the one superior box. Uh, so I was going to, you know, see how how it panned out. But as you can see, um, I probably lost about $75 total. Um, I definitely, I can tell you this. I'm ha Like I said, I'm happy for Chad because those first four boxes he opened were crap. Um, so 
you know, it, it would have been terrible. He spent five hundred dollars and didn't get but two hundred dollars worth of stuff. Um, but you can see what I got here, and I can go over it again. So you can you can like I say, you can replay this back if you want to compare it to the Spider-Man book. One is like one of those superior boxes. So you got this signed book. Who they don't say who signed it. Um, we got the Batman Who Laughs. Like I said, I've sold this a few times. Um, and even that Spider-Man booth, I think price this is at $15, but they put it at $20, um, which is not $20. <clears throat> we got a Transformers book. And like I already said about Transformers books, uh, they, uh, they don't sell at all. And you got a Suicide Squad one foil number seven, uh, like a face-off cover. So it's like a good, like kind of like game cover, but uh, definitely not worth fifteen bucks. And then you had the two trades I just showed. Um, this one. So this is from uh, Torpedo Comics. I thought I put it in there. Uh, in the description. So you got this book that I actually just looked up. Batman the Max Arkham Dreams. I just looked this up. They have a price at 60 bucks, but you can get it right now on eBay for eleven ninety nine. I showed it in the uh, just showed it a while ago. Um this book is nine ninety nine on eBay. You can look it up. Uh if you don't believe me. And this book here is a retailer, but it's from Torpedo. They have it twenty dollars. I'll give them fifteen. Uh I give them 15, but I'm not, you know, it's not like a sign or sketch by uh, Stan Sakai or anything. That would have been not cool if I did. At least my money would have been back if it was signed by uh, Stan Sakai. Then the two books I got, which made it feel like I got something good, it was two hardcovers. You got Camelot 3000, which I'll be getting rid of as well. And this is probably the only one I'm going to keep out of all this stuff is the Stanley kind of Marvels. Visionary Stanley. So I'll probably that's the one I'm gonna put on the side because I'm gonna keep it. All this DC stuff. If anybody wants it, just you know, I know I'm not gonna be able to get my money back. Uh, because I already kind of told the pricing of some Batman and some stuff. But um if somebody wants this stuff, hit me up and I'll be gladly, hopefully I can just, just get half of my money. <laughs> so if anybody uh he said, damn, who that rough? <laughs> the, yeah, Immortal Biggie Shack. It's, yeah, it's not like I saw somebody, like I said, I saw last night somebody do a review on Instagram. And uh, and it was pretty bad. And I got some of the same books. So that's why I know the pricing. Like I said, I know the Grendo and I know stuff like that. Um, this reminds me of the. Um, another mystery box that I bought a few years ago from a popular YouTuber. Um, and it's not sunshine, <laughs> but he's not popular. I don't think, but, uh, um, it reminds me of that mystery box where it was like, you had to pay somebody to take the stuff. It said, I might want the Batman six two sixty six. Well, let me know. Uh, uh, since since uh, I can't even think <laughs> the blue flame. You can go back to that name. Let me know. I already packed up your other stuff. So uh, if you do want it, I'll just put it on the side. I mean, I'd say maybe ten bucks would pay the shipping, but I would say wait <laughs> until I sell some more stuff later, and you might be able to save on shipping. Are you going to ask them for some bonus books? Why would I ask them for bonus books? Oh, no, man, no, no, no. They're not going to try to make me happy. If they would if they would have tried to make me happy, it would have been a good box from the jump, Joe. Um, let's be honest, man. It would have been a good box from the jump. Um, they sold 500 of these boxes, and I, they probably, you know, at $100 a piece, you do the math, they only had two big books, which really one I would only count because the Iron Man, I think 8.5. It's a big book as far as the grade. But it's not like a, um, it's not a first appearance, not a super key. It's just a high grade of a, a 
you know, a book because it's not his first appearance. It's just his first ongoing number one. Um, and that was picked, I want to say that was picked a week before they mailed out the stuff. Um, so who that ain't going to give them the pleasure of getting him upset? <laughs> No, I'm not even worried about Big Shaq. I already, like I said, I knew these boxes were going to be trash. Uh, I knew these boxes were going to be trash when I saw, like I said, the Instagram reviews from a couple of people. And if, like I said, if you replay Chad's books, the boxes that he unboxed live, uh, they weren't good. They weren't. You know, he spent five hundred dollars, and this is by the guy's graces he got the A15, you know, which I was happy for, because yeah, it was it was nothing in there. But I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess these cost about forty bucks, maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely gonna reuse them. That's for a convention. Uh, I could put books in there and get them signed. I would get rid of them. Um, so that's all I got. Um, I don't have anything else to say. Like I said, if somebody wants some of this stuff, please make an offer and just pay for shipping and because uh a lot of this stuff i don't collect especially the dc stuff and i don't like any of the trades but the one stanley which i pulled out of for myself so i almost could fit it all in one box <laughs> if somebody wants it uh have you got no uh I, the v7s mine's probably gonna come in I checked the shipping on my V7. It might be here Friday. That's why I didn't want to wait to do a comparison um, video of the two mystery boxes. Um, uh, flawed. It was pretty bad. I'm going to show you the pricey book flawed. And I looked it up for everybody and put the price on there. It was a $12 book. <laughs> this is the pricey book. That they have 60 bucks. Get it on eBay right now for $11.99. <laughs> so that's the pricey book. The other stuff I kind of went over a lot. But yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, it was pretty bad. Um, like everybody got, like, uh, you would think they would at least put the money back into the box. So it'd be like, you know, like Spider Man boot boxes. Sometimes I would say there's very minute that they're under. Um, the value of the box but if they do they get it uh they, they um they try to work that out for you to get because they want you to be happy and at least get your money back from the box um give you i'll give you a value that's what i say they want to at least give you your value um this one was definitely not of value um like i said the first one i think i opened up we did the prices what it was 12 10 and 10 that was the two comic books so that's 30 two dollars and um the two trade paperbacks which um i'd have to look up um because this one don't have a price in the back i think one was twenty dollars the other one's twenty dollars so let's say they both were twenty dollars realistically that's 40 plus the 32 72 dollars so one box was max out at 72 dollars i paid a hundred dollars for the box plus shipping so um, like I said, they had a couple of decent trades, but I'm only keeping one. So out of all those stuff in the box, I'm keeping this one. Um, I never seen it before. And it says it collects stories from Captain America Comics 3 and 16, Sus Suspense 28, Adult Fantasy 11 and Amazing Fantasy 15, Fantastic Four 11 of a and Annual 3, Amazing Spider-Man 96 through 98, so it has a whole slew of stuff I guess Stanley worked on. So this one, this I don't know if this is how much is this worth, but to me this is the big, the big uh oh uh comments for all. No, it did not include shipping. They actually charged me shipping for both. Um my shipping was twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars. That's how much the shipping was. Um, which um, you know, medium flat rate costs. 15 let's just say 15 so i got gypped on that too as well so let me go before i say more things to, to uh you know to go you know against them i mean i know they're a pricey comp uh shop 
um, and all that stuff. Um, I've only had the one bad experience from them beforehand, which was buying a book that came back graded a whole grade under. Um, that's the only bad. Other stuff, I had good experiences with them um, as far as buying stuff. Um, but uh, definitely won't be using them again. Like I said, if you think I'm lying, look at Chad's video, him unboxing the other stuff. But take out the AF-15, look at the other stuff. Look at mine, look at some Instagram reviews of people who are not at the shop, people who got it mailed in. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So if you didn't get one of those slabs or something like that, you want to get your money back. So that's all I got. Uh, Blue Flame, let me know if you want that book. I'll put it on the side. Like I said, I'm not trying. I know I'm not going to make a killing off it. I'll be happy with 10 bucks plus shipping. Um, and But like I said, I could put it on the side for whenever you buy something else. And you can just throw it in there. You don't have to worry about different shipping and stuff like that. Because the other box is full. Uh, no, you can't win everything, Biggie Shack. But you should be uh not cheated in the value of the box if that makes any sense um i don't know why he said blue flame laugh out loud that was his name before he changed it i really don't know how to say his new name so instead of butchering his new name joe i'm gonna say his old name and he knows who i'm talking about uh don't know why people can't just provide decent customer service Put I'm gonna highlight that one. <laughs> I'm gonna highlight that one. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Um, uh, should be some value in there. Not that hard. I don't know, Biggie. I don't know, Biggie. I showed you one box that was literally at seventy bucks. Like we looked it up. And it was actually so I've actually you know the box is a hundred. I paid a hundred for the box. The value in that box was seventy, but I paid also shipping. So you divide the shipping and have let's say it's just ten bucks. So I paid one hundred and ten bucks and I got seventy dollars worth of stuff. I know it's a mystery box, but you know if you're gonna copy from that Spider-Man booth, at least give them value. If you're gonna do what they did, because I think they tried to help them a little bit, but um. Yeah, so you guys have a good Sunday. Um, like I said, I'll open up the Spider-Man Boost box. I think I get them Friday. I'll open. Uh, uh, he doesn't want to rip people off. I agree, Joe. He doesn't because you know why? Because I think one bad because that's what his he has a comic book little shop, but his main money is the mystery boxes. So he doesn't want to rip people off because I think. Uh, um, you know, that would lose a lot of his business. So he tries to put that value in there. He'll even throw in extra books to if he thinks the value is not there. You know what I mean? Because um, for the uh, his mystery box, you get 10 books. Um, this one, I got three books and two tra uh, graphic novels. What is that? Who who does those that reminds you of? Not going to say any name, but that reminds you of somebody. <laughs> so he tries to give you the value, so I believe they pick people who spent the most over a regular. Oh, you think? Well, no, I count to all people. Uh, I looked at the Instagram a lot. They have a lot more. Either they had the the second grand prize was one somebody a regular customer at the shop. Uh, they had some of the mid level grand prizes were regular customers of the shop. Um, when I mean regular grand prizes, it's three hundred dollars or more. I saw slabs that were picked. So they, they took care of their regular customers, which is smart because you don't want, you know you don't want to mess up the people who go in the shop every day. Um, for people like me or Chad or other people who shop or buy from them occasionally, like I bought raw books from them, like at least three or four raw books from them before. Um, they can piss on us, you know it doesn't matter. They lose us. It, it's not we're not a regular customer. That signed book. Is Herberto Ramos. Thank you, Strictly Comics. I was wondering who that signed book was with no COA. Just I had no idea because it's like he has no name. It's just literally just chicken scratch. <laughs> Joe, you might it's funny, but Joe, you might be. I would actually keep the Biggie Shack signature. <laughs> Definitely would keep the Biggie Shack signature. It would go with the Stanley book. 
which I'm definitely keeping because I saw what it it reap uh the the collects the stories it collects. So that's why I'm definitely keeping this. And this one's gonna be probably the one trade hard cover that I'm gonna keep. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna open it, but it definitely has some reads in it that I want to check out. Uh, that's how he signs. I've got several. Yeah, well, I couldn't tell at all that was his signature. And I'm just going on and on with you guys typing in there. Um, I need to get rid of this box they sent it in. They sent it in a diamond, old diamond box. I wonder if they get mad if I shift the stuff back to them because I didn't want it. <laughs> That's just me being petty. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, man. so I'm getting off of this. Uh, I might not make the auction tonight with Strictly. I really I'm waiting on like all my slabs to come back from CGC. I've only gotten like two of them back. And that was the two that I sent in. I don't know, I sent those, like August or something. Um, so I have those two, but I haven't uh, I haven't got my big order of like, I think, 10 moderns of 12 moderns, whatever I'm waiting for. So those should be in back a week or two um they've been pretty quick with the moderns like literally like 10 days business days so i'm hoping this week they come back um then i'll have some stuff for maybe next weekend's auction what's up master don uh hopefully next week um because i won't be able to do an auction on the 21st because i'm on call for work but i can probably make one on the 28th um or should I say 29th or something like that? I want to check Chad's video later. Yeah, yeah. Watch his like watch his video of him unboxing because he did think he did two and two, and then he didn't even open up the last one live. Honestly, I think it's because he was discouraged with the first two. I mean the first four. I I'm just going by what how I, I looked at it and I was like, Yeah, I, I don't think I think he was pretty discouraged on the first. The ones he opened, and he's like, you know what? I'm not even gonna open this one live. What's the point? <laughs> Did he end up winning? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm getting out of here. You guys later. I probably get some thumbs down, but it probably just be all from them. <laughs> but I mean, you gotta be honest. You gotta be honest. You know, I'm not gonna lie because that's nothing to lie about. I can't lie about what I showed you guys. Uh, so, yeah. Peace.